News at 11, working for you. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 10 News at 11. I'm Sydney Jacks Timer. A man is dead after an officer involved shooting that happened earlier today on Hirschberger Road in Roanoke. 10 News reporter Kelly Marsh is with us in studio. And Kelly, you were at the scene this afternoon, but Roanoke police say this all started uh, earlier today. That's right, and police tell us that the man who was shot and killed had made multiple threats to Roanoke police starting at 8 this morning. One man is dead after being shot by Roanoke police at around 2.30 Saturday on Hirschberger Road. Police say during a traffic stop, the suspect was holding an axe when he started approaching officers. So I, I did view the body-worn camera footage before I speak to you all, like I always do. It appears to be an axe or hand axe or a hatchet. But the incident started long before that traffic stop. At approximately 8.30 this morning, the same adult male subject drove past the police department and shouted threats towards officers who were outside of police headquarters. Just 15 minutes later, the suspect called 911 and threatened to kill all Roanoke police officers and 911 dispatchers. After those threats, officers got two warrants for threats made over airwaves. A couple hours later, the same suspect was caught damaging a police car. Officers added another warrant of property damage while searching for the man. The man was then seen driving when officers made a traffic stop. Police say the suspect immediately got out of his car and moved towards the officers with the ax in hand. He struck one patrol car several times with that weapon, then turned and advanced towards the officers. That's when two officers fired shots at the suspect. You know, anytime we use deadly force, like I've said, is a tragedy. This is initiated by us based off how the officers felt at the scene because of a threat that was presented to them, right? That's how they felt. Per protocol, Virginia State Police has taken over the investigation of the officer involved shooting. Live in the studio, Kelly Marsh, 10 News, working for you.